It's been a couple months since I did my initial video on Genshin Impact. With the announcement that MiHoYo, the developer behind Genshin Impact, are going to be releasing the ridiculously popular Honkai Impact 3rd on PC in the near future, and comparisons being made between the two games, I thought it would be worth taking another, more updated look at the game. I know some people wrote it off initially as a mere Breath of the Wild clone, and I'm aware that the game does share some similarities to the Zelda game, but I don't see anything wrong with that. If you weren't aware, Genshin Impact was announced back in June. I did a video detailing the kind of game it was and made comparison to two other anime titles coming out, both Blue Protocol and Project BBQ. However, where the latter two anime titles are MMOs, with Blue Protocol being an open world anime MMORPG and Project BBQ being, well, I guess Project BBQ doesn't really have a world classification yet, so we'll need to wait and see, but nevertheless, they are both MMORPGs. Genshin Impact is 100% not. And while it isn't an MMO, the game definitely leaves things open for some kind of multiplayer system of sorts down the line. And just give me a moment to elaborate on that a little. Currently, there are, what, like 11, 12 different characters you can play as? You can have up to four characters with you at any given time, both in and out of combat, and you can freely switch between active characters via a simple key press. This means that you choose from a predetermined selection of characters and tackle content with those characters specifically. However, some players speculate that there may be some form of multiplayer coming in the future. While the game can only be played online, which honestly makes sense for the kind of game it is, tooltips in-game led players to believe that there will be a function that allows you to group up with other players for certain kinds of content. Whether that content involves traversing the open world, or instead has people choose from their list of characters to tackle dungeons or other instance content is up for discussion. But the fact remains that a little too much is left to the imagination right now as MiHoYo have not come out and denied the potential for multiplayer connectivity. I unfortunately never had the opportunity to participate in the original beta test or any form of testing since the game was announced. All of the information that I have, all of the opinions that I have, everything is based off of what I and obviously you have direct access to. But from what players are reporting, while yes, the game technically shares similarities to Breath of the Wild, the game stands on its own legs as its own game. MiHoYo aren't attempting to replicate the success of the Zelda game, nor are they trying to make a Zelda-inspired ripoff. The game features a large open world, has a lot of interesting interactions with NPCs, your party members and monsters, a very strong story and narrative, along with a lot of different features and mechanics that help separate itself from any other game. Well, I mean... Okay, so according to players, it does feel, I guess, a little like a fantasy-inspired Honkai Impact, which I guess is its predecessor, so, I mean... Tactically, it's trying to separate itself from most other games. But honestly, I don't really see why the game got the initial hate that it did. Now, I might get a little bit of flack for having this opinion, but let me be clear when I state that although Genshin Impact does, as I've mentioned at least twice already, share similarities with Breath of the Wild, and heck, it might even take inspiration from it, it is more than a simple clone. The game has its own world, its own characters, its own lore, its own story and game mechanics. It's so much more than a copy and people honestly have to just stop considering it as one. Genshin Impact looks like it'll be a quality single player RPG and we can never get enough of those. Yes, MiHoYo is known for its mobile games and the microtransactions found within them, but so long as Genshin Impact allows for us to obtain gear, characters, and progress through the game without paying, then I feel like it'll end up alright. I mean, I have a feeling they might put things like outfits behind a paywall, and that is understandable. They can do what they want with outfits and customization, so long as it doesn't allow for advantages, then they can pretty much charge whatever they want for cosmetic items. But other than microtransactions, I can't help but think that people really blew this really, really far out of proportion. Like, do you guys remember that dude that picked up and smashed a PS4? Like, what the actual fuck even? Dude, if you're gonna smash a PS4, just send it to me instead and just say you smashed it. That, that, that is just, that is so wasteful and honestly just beyond silly. But I mean, hey, it's your console. You're technically allowed to do whatever you want with it. But that overreaction to a game trailer, like, are we for real? There are hundreds of hours worth of gameplay of Genshin Impact uploaded to YouTube and spread over the internet. By this point, I hope, I really, really strongly hope that people have learned, have come to the conclusion that this is its very own game. Let's just give it some time and wait and see what the final product is like before we go smashing any more PS4s, yeah? Now, I'm excited for Genshin Impact. It looks like a lot of fun. It's beautiful, it has some really awesome looking combat, and it's going to be completely free to play across both PS4 and mobile devices, offering seamless crossplay functionality between the two platforms. 
Whether or not the game takes inspiration from other games is completely irrelevant. If it's a good game, it's a good game, and that's what I'm looking forward to. Hopefully you guys feel the same way. While there hasn't been any beta tests recently, MiHoYo were dropping hints that there is a planned beta test scheduled for some time in the very near future. So if you haven't already, make sure to keep an eye out for that to get in and make your own judgments of the game. But that's just my opinion, my first impression of the game. What do you guys think? Are you looking forward to it? Does it look exciting? Will you try it out or do you even want to? Let me know in the comments below and let's talk about it. Anyway guys, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you all next time. Peace. Dead.